the starting lineup for the visiting Cleveland Cavaliers. That small forward. Let's meet the starting shot for your Sacramento Kings. Starting at power forward. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on Two okay. Sports. With Greg Anthony Kings and versus Kevin Harley, this Kevin. is Kevin Harlan. Kings Kevin versus Kevin Harlan. On the sideline. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. When I asked yeah. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff about Evan Mobley, he said his sole focus yeah, is how do I help the Cleveland Cavaliers win basketball games? When you play the game with that purity of heart and then throw a skill set and intellect in, you've got a guy that yeah. impacts winning. He can do it so many different ways. Kevin? <laughs> he can. D.A., he's special. And thanks for your report. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Allen is out there with Mitchell. And it's a Coro in at the three slot. And for Sacramento, Harrison Sabonis hold on the post positions for him. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herder. And it's Barnes in at the small forward position. Well, we expect to see sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head to head in this one. And but with the way the game is played today, you know, we could see them battling at the arc. Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. Now here's Herder, covered by Mitchell. Inside, stolen by Akoro. Passes it to Mobley. Cavaliers moving the ball around. A three from Garland. It's rebounded by Herder. And it's Sacramento's ball. And here is Fox. To the middle and stolen by Mobley. Garland against Fox. Unloads from 13. No good on that one. And it's the Kings taking it the other way. And prior to playing in college, Sabonis played professionally in Spain. Well, that's such a head scratcher to me. I mean, 16 years old. I mean, here you'd be getting your license. There, Sabonis was playing in professional leagues against grown men. So that experience certainly has helped him both in college and for sure being a pro now. Now, here's Garland. Following the miss shot by De'Aaron Fox. Akoro with it. Arms on him. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. First person. Akoro continues to grow in his confidence. Shooting you can see Cleveland. it the way he attacked that time. The Cavaliers shooting their first free throw of the contest. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. A little breakdown there, letting them get that rebound. You can't allow that to happen. Fox against Garland. There's a bonus. And that one goes off. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Wound up there for Allen. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Herter with it. Out left to the wing. Fox deciding where to go with it. Pocket six. Shoots over Mobley and misses it off the right side of the rim. Cleveland has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Mitchell outside. Now, here's Akuro, covered by Barnes, and stolen by Murray. A pass to Fox. It's 
Sabonis a screen on Mobley. Fox with it. He's picked up by Mobley. Murray, no good. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. The pass to Mobley. Score the basket is second of two attempts. I always wonder about these bigger guys, how much easier a read is like that, and Allen finds the open guy set up to shoot it. They've been struggling here on offense. With a bit of a dry spell for sure. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Man, please give a big round of applause for your king. Twenty forty-eight. <laughs> Malik Monk comes in for Kevin Herter. Didn't even want to question the change here too. Levert's checked in for a call roll. fast and right now they're just focused on putting together good possessions yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead they ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots knocked them down and the game is fully in their control Greg an outstanding score Donovan Mitchell takes it to another level in the playoff and hey, Kevin how about all of his averages go up come playoff time Spider is a guy who wants the line Stars takes on more of a load in the postseason. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Up top, Garland. Guarded by Fox. Allen, a screen on Davis. Avert kicks to Allen. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Garland, no good. And that was a little bit of a rage check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Now, here's Fox. One for three. And the last second attempt is not going for four. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Right back after this break. Fans, please get a big round of applause. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. And so here's Sacramento. Eight-point game. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Hooter. Davis is out there with Holmes. And it's a bonus in at the five. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Now, here's Garland. Following the miss shot by De'Aaron Fox. Garland. Cleveland with a fresh shot clock. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Now, Levert. Five on the clock. Here's Allen. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's Sacramento now. Davis, the pass to Fox. Brent, how has size now affected the way the game is played? Well, if I could just take a detour, Kevin, I would tell you it's skill that has affected the way the game is played. I mean, this 
has always been a tall man's game, and usually it's been dominated by the biggest guys. Uh, but that's not the case anymore. So you look at 6'4 to 6'7 guys who are skilled to shoot, pass, and dribble. That's what every team is looking for. And that's the way the modern NBA team, especially a championship caliber team, is made. Right now, I turn it over to the sidelines and get a report from David uh, Alder. Thanks very much. Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. Cavaliers he says, are beating honestly, the I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Dude. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David, thanks. He's studying the greats, and it's paying off. Yes, that goes in. Now, there's some easy see? offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Now, here's LaVert. Brings it out to Garland. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Passes it to Austin. And Demontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got five rebounds tonight. Well, yeah. the father of Demontis Sabonis, Arbitus, named to the NBA 75 All European team. Arbitus 7 3 is just so skilled. Now, here's Holmes. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Huh. Got that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just three in the basket from Sabonis. Not much else the D can do. Sometimes Sabonis can score no matter what you're throwing at him. Oh, here's LaVert. <laughs> That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And Greg, what was it like playing with the 73 RP when you were in the NBA together? Kevin, we, we had a couple of years together in Portland, and I'll tell you what, he was an incredible passer. Really made me a better cutter because he was the first guy I played with that could make all the passes no matter where he was on the floor. Now, here's Garland. One thirty-one left in the second quarter. Here's Mobley, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Stolen by Garland. Pass to Levert. Six to shoot. Oh, tricky shot for the Kevin defense. It's all Six over, but five. he draws a first foul team on that attempt. It's his first trip to the line. Cavaliers. Seventy-two percent at the line this season. He has yet to set himself apart for two. in that department. Trey Lyles checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Harrison Barnes comes in for Davis. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And Davian Mitchell's subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. Then for the Cavaliers, Wade, he's checked in for Allen. Mitchell comes in for Jetty Osman. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. So he comes up empty at the line. A key member of that 73 win Golden State Warrior team was Harrison Barnes. And almost the forgotten part of the fame the death line of fame was Barnes, Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Andre Iguodala. Harrison, a big piece of that 2015 championship team as well. And the Cavaliers with possession here. After the Kings pick up two. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Mitchell outside. Three pointer. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. One second separate in the shot clock in game time. Avert kicks to Mitchell. That's good. That's Avert with the assist. Mitchell's got the lead up to eight now for the Cavs. Sabonis against Mobley. 
Here's the bonus. Let's it go from 11. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Cavaliers lead by five from Golden One Center. You're watching 2K Sports. That game went by quick. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Evan Mobley with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game is still to play. The Kings trail by eight. Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. In its small forward, in power forward, it's Okoro in Mobley. Mitchell is out there with Garland. And it's Allen in at the center position. Now Mitchell, following De'Aaron Fox's three-point attempt. Mobley sets the pick for Mitchell. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Fox with it. Guarded now by a Coro. And here's Herder. Back to Fox. Unloads from 13. And that's good. For two. Well, so critical for Fox to get the attention of the defense in this way. He's got to make them fear him. Garland dishes to Allen. Looking for Garland. He gets it there. This is the baby hook. And uh, the King shooting a pretty sorry 29% for the fall here. And if you're just joining us, we've played over a minute here in the third. Barnes right side. Sabonis finds Fox. Here's her. There's the triple. Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Third personal foul. And that's part of what Mitchell brings to the table. The, the willingness the to operate the on the perimeter or Donovan get in Mitchell. there and mix it up Two on shots. the interior. Cleveland shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. the first <laughs> and Mitchell drops them both well when he gets into a groove at the free throw line it doesn't just last for tonight this might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Fox passes to Sabonis. Here's Herbert, and he stops it. What a pass to set him up. If you leave someone open on a team with Sabonis having the ball, he's going to make you pay. That's great recognition. With the pass to Allen. Back to Mitchell. To the paint. There's Allen. That's good on the Here's assist by Mitchell. Allen's got the lead up to eight now for Cleveland. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Outside, Zabonis. Murray kicks to Herter. Zabonis is screen on Mitchell. A go shot. And again, it's Sacramento converted. Herter making it look easy that time on the pick and roll as the off guard. The Cavaliers leading by six. Garland dishes to Mitchell. A 
little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. Great defense there. Anticipated the play. And got there for the court. Lens checked in for Sacramento. Then for the Cavaliers, Eddie Osman, he's checked in for Mope. And it's Green in for Garland. Mitchell against Fox. Gets the 14 foot of the fall. Fox has got four points in the quarter. Fox pretty good when he decides to use his speed. He's going to get the defense on their heel. Green kicks to Mitchell. There's the three. Second shot opportunity. And Allen with the layup. And the Cavaliers lead by six. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Fox finds Murray. Len sets a screen from her. Misses the three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Mitchell against Fox. Mitchell passes to Okoro. Back to Mitchell. Over in the corner, Osman. Dishes it to Allen. That one goes Here's in. Allen. And now a big point, Cleveland lead. Awesome. Yeah, you saw Allen do a great job of just placing himself in that pick and roll, and he's right where he's supposed to be. Fox against Mitchell. Fox dishes the line. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. It's on Jared Allen. Foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And a closer look here at the hustle stats Two for the shots. Cavaliers. They have been a wrecking ball defensively, coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second chance opportunities. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Trey Lyles checked in for Murray. Terrence Davis comes in for Barnes. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. He hits the second from the line. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. It's Allen on the wing. Here's Mitchell. And Allen slams it in. And that kind of bucket for Allen is just injecting energy into the team. One of the best offensive rebounders in the NBA. Len sets a screen for Mitchell. Len can catch the monk. 27 seconds left to play in the third. Count it. Anytime Monk gets room to shoot, especially inside, he's such a crafty guard who you want to see pull the trigger from inside. Now, here's Mitchell. Monk defending. Mitchell with it. Rubio outside. But three. And we've watched three so far in this one. Cavaliers on top. They lead by seven. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Cavaliers leading by seven at the guard positions. Mitchell and Monk. Lyles out there with Demonis Sabonis. And it's Davis and at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. And for the Kings, they're shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Here's Mitchell. That one wide left. And so Green will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Wade outside. Right wing. 
Shot clock at five. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. First person is going to go on J.D. Mitchell. Such a capable floor general and a very strong Shooting defender. Ricky Rubio, Rubio continues to Rubio. make his impact felt Taking on any ball club that shot. he plays for. Tricky and fun to watch. Ricky Rubio and some changes here for the Kings Murray comes in for Trey Lyles and it's Harrison Barnes in for Terrence Davis Okoro he's checked in for Cleveland he's perfect from the line this time the Kings trail by nine Mitchell looking it over. Allen against Sabonis. Pass to Mitchell. Sabonis is screen on Rubio. Just five on the clock. Takes it from ten. This shot by Mitchell, no good. The Cavaliers leading by nine. To the inside. Wound up there for Allen. And stolen by Murray. On the wing, Barnes. <laughs> to Mark Hill with a three-point shot. Cavaliers shooting 43% for the game. In the corner, Okoro with it. Three-pointer, Wade, and the three ball is good. Wade's got the lead up to 12 now for the Cavs. Okoro showing his ability to find an open teammate some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum Barnes with it guarded now by a Coro Barnes can't get it to go well a lot of players in the league are gonna make that shot and for him it's pretty much automatic it's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup Mitchell wide open and a miss there on the triple Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. To the middle. Sabonis and slammed up by Sabonis. And Sabonis getting his entire body up that time for the jam. The Cavaliers leading by 10. I just bitch you up the bell. Looking it over. <laughs> Passes it to Mitchell. Rubio outside. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. Some changes for Sacramento. Kevin Herter. He is checked in for the lead one. And it's Fox in for Davion Mitchell. The Kings have got one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of this is just the one mate. Fox against Garland. Sabonis is screen on Garland. Fox. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal foul. Surveying that First time. Hard to cover when he's got options. At the line for your Kings. De'Aaron Fox taking two shots. The first one falls. So much talk about who's the fastest player in the league. And Fox always being mentioned there. His speed and stepping into this leadership role. Lots of great signs from De'Aaron Fox. And so he hits both. Now here is LaVert. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're leading by eight. 157 left here in the fourth quarter. play with urgency we're bad when we become complacent don't become complacent let's go 
Guys? Thank you, David. One fifty-seven left to play here in the fourth. Sabonis with the steal. Fox against Garland. Shoots from 12. Misses off the right eye. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock. Levert the pass to Garland. 30 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Mobley is three on Fox. Garland, six on the shot clock. He had a nice open look right there. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. <laughs> Okoro trying yeah. to get more and more consistency with that shot. Now Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. He's looking for Sabonis and finds him. Jared Allen grabs the miss. For him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Cavaliers. One of the areas that has been critical for them, the second chance points we've seen from them tonight. Yeah, a huge factor in this one, Kevin. The hustle on the offensive glass, the willingness to go after those rebounds. First personal team. And a lot of players tonight help contribute to this performance. <laughs> but in particular, a real good game it was for Allen. I like his aggressiveness here tonight, especially on the glass. He was not messing around. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Wade is checked in for Allen. Osman comes in for Mobley. Green is checked in for Okoro. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Garland. But the truth is they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Here's Mitchell. Karis LeVert making his last shot. Pass to Monk. This one for three. A new 14 for the Kings. And it's Rubio with the ball for the Cavaliers. This is the most they've led by 13 points. 13 points. Wow. So it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was... And the Kings lost against Cavaliers. You know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to say that over to Danny Dalton is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Thank you, Kevin. Danny, a strong defensive effort both individually and team. Now, how comfortable are you at that end of the floor now, knowing that you can make things tough on the opposite? Danny Green on the Cavaliers, man. Well, um, we want to make them take tough shots. Um, we're not comfortable at any point defensively, but we got to continue to be active and be aggressive and get our hands on loose balls. Been the mark of the Spurs for a long time, Danny. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, there and David Olsen, the game. this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now, let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, Jared Allen.